Hello everyone. This week I challenged myself to see if I could eat for $2 a day and wait till you see what I eat. And I did manage to pull it off. Uh, this is what I got for my grocery haul that I spent just under $15. So I spent $14 on some change and I got quite a few vegetables. I got, of course, the loaf of bread that I like at Walmart. Uh, I got some rice and beans, but I did get small packs of those. Um, this week, I'm just trying to please myself. I'm trying to please my own palate. Sometimes when I do these uh, extreme grocery challenges, I'm trying to get as many meals as possible with the idea that there's a family that, um, it, you know, is trying to get all of those meals. This week, I didn't feel any pressure whatsoever uh, because I was trying to please myself. Now, I did pick up these two uh, ramens. Uh, apparently, Walmart is going to be replacing Marichan with this brand of Panda Signature Ramen. I did want to try that, um, and I thought it would be a good idea to have the other brand also on hand just in case I needed an emergency meal. As it turns out, I had so much food that I didn't even try those, so maybe I'll work on those next time um, because I would like to try that Panda uh, brand of of ramen since Walmart's going to be carrying that. I did get a large thing of cilantro, the potatoes. I got five tomatoes. I felt really good about that. I've got garlic. Uh, I even had uh, managed to get cheese. So um, yeah, I'm super happy. Broccoli. I eat a lot of broccoli, spinach, eggs, uh, and I picked up the frozen bag of peppers. One of my viewers told me about that at the Dollar Tree. And so I picked that up when I was at the Dollar Tree. And to start off the video, I'm going to show you my poached egg breakfast. This probably is the meal that I'm most proud of. I've been wanting to master poached eggs for a while, and I just haven't gotten it down. I recently watched a video where they show you how to make this um, by adding vinegar to the water, and I thought I'd give that a shot. First, I went ahead and drained the eggs uh, to get just a little bit of the excess off, and then added about a tablespoon of vinegar to the boiling water and then I went ahead and made uh, as best I could I made a, a little bit of a swirly in in the middle now my pan wasn't that full of water so I wasn't actually sure if this was going to work very well or if I needed to add some more water but I went ahead and gave it a shot with my first egg and this egg is actually kind of small but as you can see it stayed together and it cooked very nicely. Now what I did as soon as I dropped the egg in is I went ahead and turned my timer on for three minutes and pulled it out right after three minutes and it was just to the consistency that I wanted. And I'm using the sesame French bread that I like to purchase at Walmart. So I just toasted that in my toaster oven and then I'm actually going to top it with two eggs because they're quite small. The one on the left especially. And then I'm going to top it just with some Malden sea salt flakes and ground peppercorn. Or whatever's left of the pepper. And I'm so excited. It feels like it's going to be perfect. Okay, I feel really pleased with myself. It's a small, a small feat, but for some reason I just, I tried a couple of times and then I just kind of didn't try anymore. That There used to be a, a restaurant in Vegas that I ate at in the Paris Hotel and they serve the most beautiful poached eggs. And ever since I ate there, I've been wanting to do it myself. And I wanted to, sh I grabbed my camera at the end when I was eating this. Because I just wanted you to hear, I wanted you to hear the crunch on this bread. Um, and the bread is chewy as well. But let me show you, this is just the perfect bite. It was really good, you guys. So good. I hope you try that. 
And next up, I'm making a tostada. I absolutely love Mexican food, and when I'm cooking for myself, I do tend to eat a lot of it. Um, I basically have all of the ingredients that I need, uh, except for lettuce, and I'm going to use spinach in the place of lettuce. I went ahead and soaked my beans overnight, and instead of making the whole the whole container, I just used about half of it because I do prefer my beans to be fresh and I just went ahead and mashed them a little bit and I fried up a tortilla shell and then I'm just going to um, spread out the refried beans on there and these beans were delicious. I really did have difficulty deciding whether I wanted to get a, a large can of Rosarita refried beans or not because I can sit there and eat right out of the can and that can will last me you know pretty much a whole week doing tacos and tostadas and things like that that's how much I love those refried beans but I did make these myself and they were tasty I have I have shown in my videos before how I make my refried beans um, but this time I, I didn't do that I just basically uh, you know put them in the crock pot made them with a little bit of salt and then mashed them and they were absolutely delicious and here I'm just putting on um, the cilantro, diced tomatoes, and spinach. And I am saving my avocado, so I'm not be going to be putting any on this. Um, and I wasn't sure how the spinach would be actually on the tostada. But um, it is definitely more nutritious. And then I just put a little bit of salt and pepper. Obviously, if you've got some sharp cheddar or something like that, or some Louisiana hot sauce, this crystal, I love that. Or La Victoria, so usually we, we eat that with our Mexican food. I'm actually not going to be eating this with anything, um, but that was just to show you what would have been uh, delicious on there. I'm just going to eat it just like this. I love this meal. The spinach was great on it. It's not quite as crunchy as romaine lettuce would be, but it's really good. I, I definitely recommend it. Next up, I'm going to be making egg bites, and I'm going to be making enough for two mornings. What I plan to do is put them in the freezer, and then I can just microwave them. Now, one of my viewers told me about these uh, pep the pepper stir fry at the Dollar Tree, and I picked this up. Uh, I had asked some of you for ideas for uh, stir fry, for egg stir fry, and she gave me this idea, and I've been wanting to use these ever since, and I'm just going to kind of... Uh, heat them up and let them release some of the water and I'm going to throw the spinach in there as well. I'm going to make two varieties. I'm going to make spinach and sun-dried tomato egg bites and then I'm going to make cheese and uh, these roasted peppers, whatever you want to call them, uh, the bell peppers and onions mixture. I'm going to add that in with the slices of cheese that we have and I'll make two, two muffins uh, for each breakfast. I'm just going to spray my pan and pour a little bit of the egg mixture in there and I think I did I think I did either three or four eggs these are the um, sun-dried tomatoes that I made um, I've done this in another video they're super easy to make so I just took um, a couple of Roma tomatoes and I tossed them in olive oil and I baked them at a really low heat for a couple of hours, I think it's 250 degrees, and you get these nice, sweet sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm just gonna add a couple of those into two of the egg muffin. And then I'm gonna take the spinach that I got all of the water out, and then I'm gonna load that in there I did salt my eggs as well so you want to make sure when you're whisking your eggs up that you put the salt in there at that time and then I'm just going to put the peppers and these peppers smelled so delicious when they were cooking. And I've never really used these in, in cooking before. And I don't know why. This is why I like to have you guys give me ideas. Because um, 
that's just one of those things I, I don't know why I hadn't been cooking with it. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. And this cheese is, was a really good value. And uh, I will put do the same thing that I did with my last video. I will put the prices and the, uh, the grocery list in the description. So if you want to just copy and paste, if you need it for something, you can do you can do that. It's a little bit easier. And then I've got a little bit of egg mixture left over. Now I will say in hindsight, I had plenty of eggs so for the week, so I could have used a little bit more here, or I could have made made more muffins. But as it turns out, when you bake these, they do swell up quite a bit. And two two of the muffins were plenty plenty for me. And then I'm just going to use my toaster oven. You guys know I use this for everything. And I actually don't even know what I cooked that at. Probably probably 350. And it really didn't take very long, so probably about I would just check it. You can tell when they're done. And this is how they turned out. And then I'm just putting them in this plastic bag and I'm going to put them in the the freezer and then that way I can just pull them out and microwave them. So for one of my lunches I was running a little bit short on time and I didn't know really even what I wanted to eat. I had planned to make this quesadilla for a snack but I thought I'll just put this together really fast. I had all of the items and so I was just able to chop up the tomatoes really quick and I made the quesadilla and um, I have to say anytime I'm eating avocados, cilantro, and tomatoes. It doesn't feel like I'm eating on a budget. Uh, it, it feels, you know, luxurious, like I'm eating the way I normally want to eat. This is food that I love to eat, and the fact that I can do it, you know, on 14, 15 bucks a week is, is incredible. So far, I've had an awesome week of really good eats, and it just, yeah, it makes me super happy to be saving money. So anyway, I did have uh, food in the fridge for a burrito. I didn't know if this would fill me up, but after eating it, I was perfectly satisfied and it was really delicious. And now I'm making one of my favorite breakfasts and I'm trying to make this one avocado last as long as it possibly can. So I'm going to take a little bit and just mash it up and make myself some avocado toast. I, I don't typically have a very big appetite in the morning so I tend to eat a little bit smaller size breakfasts and and then normal size lunches and dinners um, but this this is the perfect portion for me and there's something about maybe the the healthy fats that make it you know to where I can actually get to lunchtime although I do normally if when I'm working I do normally have a little bit of a snack at 10 o'clock even if it's just a banana or something like that. And that was pretty much what I did with my bananas this week, is a lot of times I would have a half a banana. But I love this everything but the bagel. Uh, there's a, diff a few different stores. Trader Joe's has one, um, and there's other stores that have them now. If you don't have this in your pantry, just use garlic salt is fine. You could also take some of the garlic that we purchased, and you could you know, fry it up and then put it on the top. I did serve this with a hard boiled egg and this, this was actually kind of a large breakfast. Sometimes I just have one, one of the pieces of toast, but yeah, again, this doesn't feel like I'm, I'm not missing out on anything. This is like, this is the best breakfast ever. And then like, like I said, for this, for this day, I had that banana for my snack. I just want you to hear the crunch. Just if there's any other foodies out there, you need to know that I love this bread and you should too. So if you haven't tried it, it's just, I mean, and it's only a dollar at Walmart. So I think it's a really phenomenal deal. I actually make a lot of things out of that bread. I, it makes a great fried egg sandwich. I didn't make a fried egg sandwich on this video. I had planned on doing that. But I, I, I just didn't get around to it because I did have so many different kinds of breakfasts on hand already. But if you want to see the video I have 
with the fried egg sandwich, uh, it is down in the, um, I'll, I'll link it. So for my lunch one day, I decided to make a grilled cheese sandwich and just a simple vegetable soup with some of the ingredients that I had. I went ahead and used half of a potato and I used my bouillon for the broth and I just cut up some of the smaller pieces uh, of the bread. Now, obviously, if you want to have bigger slices, you can cut it on the diagonal and it gives you a bigger a bigger sandwich, but I did want to have a big bowl of the soup with this, and I was in a hurry. I feel like I've been running all week, actually. Um, I did work six days this week, and some days I was actually working nine hours, and so trying to film and prepare my meals was a little bit tough at times, and I think I was trying to speed everything along by cooking at a higher temperature, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just got kind of crazy there for a little bit, but this was delicious. Um, I always do love these vegetable soups. Um, you could put the macaroni in there as well, or you could put rice if you want a heartier soup. Um, but it was perfect for me. I, I thought it was delicious. I made sun-dried tomatoes with three of the tomatoes. I just tossed them with some oil and baked them at 250 degrees for about three hours and I plan to use those with my spaghetti dish to add a lot of extra flavor. And then for one of the breakfast I used a half a potato, just made some hash browns and put a little garlic salt on those, fried those up and then I took two eggs. I started with one egg but I actually needed two eggs. I put a little bit of water to make them a little bit fluffier, whisk them up and then just put those in a pan and then I put a little bit of the cheese on there and the cheese was really good i i really like this cheese it was inexpensive and it um it was really creamy and then i just made a uh, breakfast burrito by putting the potatoes down topping it with the egg mixture and then slicing it in half and this was really filling in fact it it was a bigger breakfast than i usually like to eat kind of wish i would have made it a little bit smaller but it was really tasty. I enjoyed it. Okay, this was one of my favorite meals that I made this week. In fact, I'm still thinking about it. It starts with a little bit of rice, and I'm going to use uh, about half of the rice that I have. And I'm just going to get this going in the rice cooker. And if you watch my channel, you already know uh, that I do put a little bit of bouillon, vegetable bouillon, in with the rice as it's cooking gives it a little bit of extra flavor and especially for this dish uh, it really added to the flavor and basically what I'm making now um, are what we call chipotle bowls. Uh, I won't be having any chicken in it but I will be having rice, beans, uh, spinach and pretty much all of the toppings but um, as you can see my beans are nice and fresh and this is exactly the way I like them. So for the toppings, I've got the cilantro, I've got an avocado, I'm going to use one full tomato, and I'm also going to be using spinach in place of where I normally use lettuce. So I'm just going to wash the cilantro and chop a good portion up. I, I love the taste, the fresh taste of cilantro in pretty much any dish I can slide it into. In fact, my son made chili. He made chili last week and we put cilantro in it and it was really good. We put the uh, the cilantro with the tortilla strips on top of chili and it was just, it was, it was fabulous. Anyhow, I'm going to chop up, or I already did chop up rather, the tomatoes rather small. And then I'm going to, I'm trying to portion out this avocado so I'm just cutting a small portion to use for a topping. I wanted to show you my sun-dried tomatoes. These are what, how they turned out. I'm really proud of those. Actually, they're going to add a lot of flavor to my dishes. So what I was going to say is it's really important when you're doing this that every little ingredient is fresh and exactly the way you like it. Um, and I'm just going to start with a cup of the, the seasoned rice. And then we're going to add on to this. We're going to add the pinto beans on top. And then I'm just going to start layering the ingredients. 
corn goes really good with this dish and if you wanted to put some sweet onions in there that would be good as well pretty much anything that you have on hand that you like to eat will go nicely in this bowl um i love this this was so delicious and i ate i over ate these bowls are actually really really huge and so i know if i fill this up that i'm gonna my tummy's gonna be full by the time i'm done but it just was so delicious and it just it's fresh, good, healthy food for you. Um, it, you know, it didn't need any salsa. It didn't need any anything. It just, it was tasty. In fact, I, like I said, I'm still thinking about it. Um, I think I might want to make this again uh, in the next day or two. And, you know, the spinach, is it's healthier for you. It wasn't as crispy, uh, like I said before, as lettuce is, but it was delicious. And here's my last dinner of the week and maybe one of my favorites as well. Uh, I was so excited to use my sun-dried tomatoes. You know, you really appreciate something so much more when you have a limited quantity or when you're working to make it yourself. And that's the way I feel about these sun-dried tomatoes. And um, I was thinking when I was making this, I used to watch, uh, actually I was about 19, I used to get off of work at late at night and I'd come home and I'd watch a Nick Stellino and he would cook. He had a Italian cooking channel. I think at that time it was on PBS, but I used to love to watch him make his Italian dishes. And I've had such a love of Italian cooking. Um, and probably because uh, I, I was a vegetarian for many years and I was able to, you know, eat a lot of good food being a vegetarian. It just kind of lends itself. Um, to that pretty well. But anyhow, I, I was thinking about this and I watched him again the other day and I like watching him now just as much as I did back then. Um, but anyway, for this dish, I'm going to make spaghetti with sun-dried tomatoes, lots and lots of garlic, and spinach. And um, most of the flavor is going to come from the garlic and the sun-dried tomatoes. And we're going to go ahead and start by putting the garlic in the and some oil and then I'm going to uh, get all of the water out of the spinach and cook my pasta to al dente and have uh, the water heavily salted that you're going to be cooking the pasta in and I'm not even going to be going to be using half of the spaghetti so when I'm cooking any kind of pasta I always keep my pasta water right there so that if I need to thicken my sauce or make uh, in addition to the sauce, I can just spoon some of the starchy water in and it always uh, mixes really well and blends nicely. But in this case, I felt like it was it was perfect just the way it was with the right amount of liquid. And I have to say, this was really tasty. It just had such a wonderful flavor and those sun-dried tomatoes were delicious and I love having the spinach in there you know I had had that at a restaurant um, like this and I think it was made with linguine and I think it also had pine nuts in it but um, it was really good I think I would start adding spinach to my uh, dish from here on out actually because I'm always trying to get a little bit more spinach in my diet because I know it's so healthy for you and there's a lot of ways like this that you can sneak it in. And it definitely tastes different than when you, um, like for the Chipotle bowls, that had a completely different consistency. But this was really fabulous. And I didn't eat all of it because this, again, this is a, these are some pretty big bowls that I'm putting it in. Um, I had a little bit left and I'm thinking about making a frittata tomorrow with it. So we'll see how that goes. This pasta was only 25 cents, and when I purchased it, I figured I would use about half of it to put in a, a soup of some kind and maybe another half for macaroni and cheese, and that's what I'm going to make right now. Uh, just make it up as a snack, and I'm using the cheese that I've got, and I, I reserve some of the pasta water the same way I did with the uh, spaghetti in order to make it nice and uh, creamy and a better, a thicker sauce, and... I have to say it was really, really super creamy, 
but I, I felt like it lacked a little bit of flavor. And I think if a kid was, uh, you know, a little kiss or something was eating this, they may love it. And maybe somebody that loves macaroni and cheese more than I do would also love it. But I t tend to like my cheeses a little bit sharper. So I can't say that I enjoyed it that much. But it was creamy. It would have been great too to use that other half of the macaroni for a quick macaroni salad probably most people have in their pantry a little bit of mayonnaise and mustard and maybe maybe a few pickles and that would have just been perfect for like I said for a macaroni salad but yeah this is not doing it for me but I do have one of the surprise meals of the video coming up I was mentioning Nick Stellino earlier and I remember watching him make a spaghetti frittata and um, that's what I'm going to go ahead and make right now with my leftover spaghetti and I just whipped up a couple of eggs and uh, I actually forgot that I needed to spray this so I had to transfer the eggs back out and then I'm just going to pour in the spaghetti mixture that I had left over uh, all of that yummy flavor is going to be in there so I'm not going to really have to season anything I'm just going to put that in there and then I'm going to pour in a couple of eggs. Now typically frittata is made and and cooked in a cast iron skillet and it's a really beautiful dish but uh, when it's I'm just cooking for myself uh, I just grab this little um, container that I had that I can put in my in my little oven. Frittatas are good for either breakfast, lunch, or dinner or even a midnight snack, and they will accommodate pretty much anything you want to put in them. Typically, they do put heavy cream in them, along with eggs, cheese, meat, and vegetables, and um, obviously some nice grated Parmesan or something like that, or even a sharper cheese like feta. I would love to have feta in here, or you know, maybe even a goat cheese. That would be delicious. But I do have to say, this was so good. I actually did not expect it to be as yummy as it was and I gave it to everybody in the house and everybody thought this was just I don't I don't know why I haven't been making this already and to think that I discovered this little gem uh, when I was trying to eat on $15 this week is just crazy uh, I do not feel like I have gone without at all uh, but anyway you un you basically uh, put this out on a plate if you were making a bigger one uh, you know, you would do the same thing, and then you're just going to cut it in pie, pie-like slices, and then, and then serve it that way. Again, I was just making this for myself, so it's, it's like a miniature frittata. Uh, you could also do this, obviously, if you didn't want to put the spaghetti in there, if you had some leftover vegetables, just throw those in. But I really like that I used the leftover spaghetti because it had all of that flavor in there. And I don't think it would have been as delicious if I didn't have the sun-dried tomatoes and garlic and all of that in there. So I think it's really a nice application for the leftover spaghetti. I do hope you guys try try this if you haven't already. It's just so easy. And um, when we're doing these budget challenges, we do always have eggs on hand. So this just makes it really super easy to make a little frittata out of uh, just a couple eggs. And I'm, I do have some basil on hand. So more for presentation than anything. I think the flavor is already spot on. So, But for, for the presentation, I'm just going to sprinkle some over the top. I also made some egg fried rice for lunches and um, I didn't film it because I've already made that on my channel so if you would like to know how to do that I will put a link to that video down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my channel please do subscribe and I'll see you next week.